Aloha. We're here in the Manoa Trails in Honolulu, Oahu, Hawaii. And today we're going to be talking about the value of natural landscape, not the mow and blow that you would find in the common backyard, but what a natural landscape should consist of for maximum health and longevity of all of the plants you've got growing on your property. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Again, here we are on the Manoa hiking trail. And here's a river that's cutting through, it's raining on us. So there's added water to the waterfalls in addition to the streams. But at the same time, the nutrients within the soil are being depleted between every rain or for you at home, every time you turn on those sprinklers, you're actually washing minerals and nutrients away from your plants, being diverted into streams and rivers like this and taken to the ocean, which then benefits all the oceanic life out there. But again, when it rains, you're actually depleting the nutrients that are here in your garden soil. And that's why it's so important that you enrich the soil with a good layer of compost and mulch, which are your wood chips, a good two to three inch layer, will help buffer and help protect the minerals and nutrients that are within the soil and continuously add some more value to the garden soil. In addition, by fertilizing your plants, you're also offering your plants all six plant macronutrients when using the Ivory Organics All-Purpose Fertilizers. The Ivory Organics All-Purpose Fertilizers is proud to share and offer your plants all six plant macronutrients, which include nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, the NPK, in addition to magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. So all six of these plant macronutrients are important for optimal plant health, performance, and longevity. Additionally, the Ivory Organics Super Blend Fertilizers includes azomite, which is simply crushed volcanic rock. And just check out how happy the plants are here in Hawaii living on a natural volcano. Whether you're in a tropical rainforest like this or your home gardener in Arizona, the majority of the most valuable roots will be found in the top 18 to 24 inches of your garden soil. All of the beneficial life within the soil, which includes those earthworms and beneficial bacteria and mycorrhiza, which are those roots or the hyphae that come off the mushrooms that we saw within the rainforest in various locations, are all near the top. And all of that nutrients are as easily available as you can see with these roots that are coming right off the plant. And you can see that I'm surrounded by roots all around. And even on the tree trunk here, there's roots that are wrapping up and again, getting all of their nutrients and moisture and, and oxygen are all happening right here, very shallow. And also, you'll see here on the tree trunk that there's some plants that are growing right off the trunks. Those are known as epiphytes. They get all their moisture and nutrients just right there, suspended in the air, attached to another plant compared to being in the soil and getting their nutrients at the so soil level. So in the rainforest, leaf mold is a natural phenomenon and it'll sometimes accumulate inches, sometimes even feet deep. When it comes to your plants in the garden, they benefit tremendously by keeping at least several inches of leaf mold around your plants so that when your citrus drop those leaves um, come typically early spring or your avocados or, um, and it's not just your tropicals, it could be also your apples and your peaches and plums and apricots and so much more that you've got grown on in your backyard orchard you're gonna to wanna to keep a good one to three inch layer of leaf mold around your plants. And as the slugs and as even the earthworms that come to the surface and break down some of those leaves, it helps return the nutrients from those plants back into the soil. Check this out. And you can see that the leaves that have recently fallen are now beginning to break down. You can start seeing the veins within the leaf. And again, all of that's breaking down, returning to the soil and then benefiting all of the surrounding roots and you can actually see some of the air roots right here. Look at this. So whether it's raining naturally or you got your sprinklers on, nutrients are being washed away between every watering, going back into the lakes, rivers, and streams, and back into the ocean where it benefits the next cycle of life. But again, be mindful of the fact that water does leach nutrients out of your garden soil. So all along the trail, we found these beautiful, bright orange flowers. We've also saw guava fruit, and you would assume it's spring, but it's not. It's raining on us. It's the rainy season here in Hawaii. And in fact, it's December 21st being the winter solstice. It's the shortest light day of the year, being the longest night period of the year as well. 
and the plants here know it. And how do they know it? If you look around, you'll see that most of the plants are not growing. Yes, they're green, beautifully green. The ones that are blooming, this is their season for blooming. And, but this is the slowest plant metabolism period for all plants in the Northern Hemisphere at this time of the year. Even grasses are growing slower. Plants are pushing out less growth. There's less activity. And for that reason, most people will say, this is not the time to be fertilizing your plants especially again with all of this rain and if you live in a rainy climate you're losing a lot of nutrients to the rainfall however for your tropical plants this is the best time to correct any nutrient deficiencies with a nutrient foliar spray using the ivory organics all-purpose fertilizers you can actually use the product and we also have a tea bag formula where you can get those nutrients onto your plants and they can absorb all of those macro and micronutrients so they're off to an excellent start come spring bloom for maximum fruit set and performance year after year. So this here is the beautiful dormant season in Honolulu, Hawaii. Beautiful. A healthy plant also has a healthy balance with nature and a healthy plant has not only the healthy balance of beneficial life in the soil, which includes the earthworms and beneficial bacteria mycorrhiza, but also the healthy above ground ecosystem, which includes the birds and the mammals and the reptiles and amphibians that are born here and die here. And when the animals die and the value that the animals offer to plants is that their blood enriches the soil with nitrogen, which helps create these beautiful green plants. Their bones enrich the soil with phosphorus, which is very important for flower and ultimately fruit development as well as potassium and magnesium and sulfur and calcium, all the elements that are important for animal development is also important and has a symbiotic relationship with the plant success. We finally made it to the end of the Manoa Falls Trails. If you've enjoyed this lesson, be sure to give us that thumbs up, share us with your gardening friends and family, and as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics. Happy gardening, aloha, English. My daughter and I are going to take a dip in the Manoa Falls.